Hello everyone, right here I have a 2023 Audi Q8 e-tron 50 Quattro Advanced And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded in. Upon turning on the ignition, the side mirrors will automatically fold out and upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. This Q8 e-tron is equipped with Audi's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the indentation on any of the four door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the Q8 e-tron, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right down here. The Q8 e-tron comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. The advanced trim gets a leather steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. Standard for the Q8 e-tron is a one-speed automatic transmission. This transmission features a sport mode. The pedal shifters that are located on the top two steering wheel spokes control the sensitivity of the regenerative braking. Standard across the range are front and rear parking sensors, a 360-degree 3D camera system, and an automatic parking system. The rear and the front cameras have active guidance signs and both camera views turn with the steering wheel as well. At the bottom left of the camera display, the settings menu can be brought up. The button next to it turns off or on the camera display, while the third button from the left turns off or on the parking sensor sound. To the right of this sound button is the button to activate the automatic parking system. Meanwhile, to the bottom right of the camera display are two buttons. The left button lets drivers choose between the rear side camera view, the front side camera view, the rear wide angle camera view, the standard rear camera view, the top down camera view, the standard front camera view, and the front wide angle camera view. The rightmost button brings up the 3D camera view, and in this view, the camera angle can be moved around, the wheels also move as the steering wheel is turned, and the lights on the vehicle icon are all functioning. Safety features in the Q8 e-tron include 8 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, anti-skid regulation, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The Q8 e-tron also gets a host of driver assistance features that include Audi Presents Front Front Collision Warning and Autonomous Emergency Braking, Audi presents rear rear collision alert, a blind spot monitor, lane departure warning, and front and rear cross traffic assist. 
The advanced trim is fitted with a set of 20-inch graphite grey 5-arm dynamic design alloy rims. This Q8e Tron rides on 255-50 R20 Bridgestone Alenza 001 tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs all round. Double wishbones make up the front suspension while the back suspension gets a multi-link setup. For Malaysia, an adaptive air suspension system is present in the Q8 e-tron. The Audi e-tron was first unveiled as a concept car at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show. The production model had its public debut at the 2018 Paris Motor Show. Deliveries of the e-segment 5-door crossover SUV, which also happens to be Audi's first mass-produced battery electric vehicle, began in March 2019. Unlike newer Audi battery electric vehicles that sit on a dedicated electric vehicle platform, the e-tron still rides on the MLB EVO platform designed for internal combustion engine vehicles. A second body style, still a 5-door crossover SUV but now with a lower coupe-like roofline, called the Sportback, went into production in 2020. The e-tron is available with three powertrain configurations, the 50, the 55, and the S, all equipped with Quattro. The facelift for the e-tron appeared in November 2022. Apart from the usual styling changes, there was also a name change from e-tron to Q8 e-tron. The Q8 e-tron went on sale in Malaysia in June 2023. Both the regular and the sportback body styles are offered, with the same exact variants for both body styles. The variants available in Malaysia are 50 Quattro Advanced Automatic, 55 Quattro S-Sign Automatic, and SQ8 e-tron Automatic. Under the bonnet of the Q8 e-tron are a number of items. The blue cap is to access the wiper washer fluid tank, there are also several mechanical parts for the vehicle, and mainly there's also the 62-litre front boot. This boot contains the vehicle's charging cables together with an LED light to the right. The Q8 e-tron 50 comes with dual electric motors powered by a 95 kWh lithium-ion battery. It produces 335 horsepower and 664 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 6 seconds, and the top speed is 200 km per hour. The range is rated at 491 km, and the combined electric consumption for the Q8 e-tron 50 Quattro Automatic is 24 kWh per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 0 grams per km, and the Q8 e-tron gets Audi's Quattro Electric All-Wheel Drive System as standard. Exterior features of the Q8 e-tron Advanced include automatic auto-leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED front and rear fog lights, LED front, side, and rear indicators, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, the high gloss styling package, body colored door handles and side mirrors, and black roof rails. Central locking, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Electronic child locks and window locks for the rear doors. That button operates the powered rear hatch. You have storage. More storage right here. And the driver's seat in this Q8 e-tron Advance does get full power adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there including your 4-way power lumbar support. The driver's seat also does come with a 2% memory function set using the buttons right there. The buttons are right below the speaker that is right there. Quad Zone Automatic Climate Control System On Off Air Conditioning This one Brings up a list of options on the infotainment display You can activate your rear controls from right here 
You can activate sync. Sync means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control all of the controllable options, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual controls. You can on off, maximum air conditioning. Back to the controls down here, you have maximum air conditioning down here as well, together with your recirculation button. Driver's side temperature, different modes, and fan speed, together with your front passenger fan speed, different modes, and temperature. And right above, you have your hill descent control, your automatic parking system. This one brings up your navigation, navigation to your home address. You have your charging button right here, and this one turns off the display. Right down here, you have your Audi Drive Select buttons. This one is for the traction control, front and rear defrost buttons, volume and power knob. This one brings up your camera or parking sensors. This one is again for the automatic parking system. Well, this one allows you to select your um, driver assist settings, whether it's maximum, individual or basic. Right here is the Q8 e-trans electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. The advanced trim comes with the MMI Navigation Plus touchscreen head unit. The system features a 10.1 inch primary infotainment display, an 8.6 inch secondary infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. Sound is routed to the Audi sound system with 10 speakers producing 180 watts of power. The sound system that this Q8 e-tron uses is actually not that bad. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current media playing information. The album art will show up here if available. Right here we have the song title, artist name and album name. You can play pause, go back a song, go for a song, song duration. And below you can activate your shuffle, repeat and bring up your love and suggest I cite these options. Playing next goes to your playing next playlist. Hit library to go back to your main media menu where you can access your library, playlists and radio. And under library, you can look at your recently added songs, playlists, artists, and whatnot. And to go back to your current media playing information, press this button right here. To the right, shortcut buttons for your Google Maps, music, phone. And down below, hit that button to go back to your main CarPlay menu where you can access your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, so on and so forth. There are more apps to the right. While to the left, we have navigation. You can go to destination, bring up your voice command, and control the media. To go back to your main Audi system, you can either hit the home button right here or hit the Audi MMI icon right here. Right here, you can access your radio, media, telephone. and the telephone, you can obviously dial a number, look at your phone book, look at your call lists and whatnot. Navigation. Right here, you can search for an address. You can select a destination via last destinations, fav favorites, contacts, receive destinations and tours. Right here we have your navigation settings. You can change the map view right here. Bring up your navigation settings again. Traffic information. And right here we have the elevation and zoom level. You also have your settings right here. With your general settings, display and brightness, language and keyboard, sound, connectivity settings, users, system maintenance, your entertainment, navigation, telephone, contacts, and all of the various settings are right here. You also have your favorites and the car. With your charging settings, Audi Drive Select. Car details, efficiency assist, parking, lights and vision, air conditioning, seat settings, driver assist, settings and service, and favorites. 
And to go back to the Carplay menu, hit the icon right there. To the right, we can ask for help via the system, uh, select the user, view the messages, view weather, view the legal information, more to the left with the navigation, telephone, and media controls. To the right, apart from your home button, you also have your radio button, media button, phone button, and navigation buttons. And right above, if you swipe from the top down, we have your notification settings. Your time and date, your various status symbols, if your profile, settings, connectivity, and sound. Electronic central locking. And as I explained earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, twist this knob to the bottom left. If you twist it to the bottom right, that activates the heated side mirrors. Wiper controls, Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, favorite button, volume wheel, click the wheel down to mute the system, seat track controls, adaptive cruise control and speed limiter controls, indicator controls, and if you press the button at the end of the indicator stalk, you can, add, you can either activate or deactivate the lane departure warning system. And right here, we have the multi-information display controls. Left and right goes between the different main menus. Use the wheel to go between the different sub-menus. Click the wheel down to select. Hit return to go back. And hit this button to bring up the options for that particular menu. And view changes the view of the instrument cluster. We are currently in the driving data menu with your short-term memory trip computer and the long-term memory trip computer. Within these two trip computers, you have your average electric consumption, average speed, elapsed time, and distance travel. We also have your driver assist display, consumption information, range, and the date, day, and time. Next up, we have your media information, telephone information, navigation information, and back to the driving data. The steering wheel in this car is still telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Cup holders or storage. With a cover. More storage right here together with a power outlet and right in here as well is the Qi wireless charging pad. Front center armrest, it is adjustable with storage down below and right here we have a couple of USB-C ports. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, LED reading lights, Right here, you have your roadside assistance button, SOS emergency button. This one turns on or off the lights when you open the doors, or this one turns on the interior lights itself. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and an LED light. Also for the driver, it's a grip handle. So I guess if that's it for the startup, we can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour.
sunshades for the rear windows. Window control, speaker, storage. And the rear seat bags in this Q8 e-tron do fold. They split 40, 20, 40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then, there are actually a couple of ways to fold the rear seat bags down. You can use either the levers on either sides of the boot, or the levers on either sides of the rear headrests. The lever on that side folds down the left seat, while the lever on this side folds down the right seat and the middle seat. To fold down only the middle seat, use a lever below the headrest somewhere right there. Then, just pull the lever and flip the seat bags down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get slightly more than this. And about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are soft and comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets together with cutouts that help with additional leg room. Rear aircon vents in the middle with the aforementioned rear climate control system. You can adjust the temperature, different modes and fan speed from back here. And down below, we have another power outlet together with a couple more USB-C ports for charging. Rear center armrest with cup holders. You fold the middle portion down by the lever, as mentioned earlier on. Right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. You can also find hooks on the B pillars, together with the air convents below it. LED rear reading slash interior lights. There are four ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2023 Q8 e-tron. Boot space in the Q8 e-tron is 569 litres with the rear seat bags in place. Fold the rear seat bags down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space increases to 1637 litres. On both sides of the boot are LED lights, hooks, storage nets, and as mentioned earlier, the levers to fold the rear seat bags down. To the right of the boot is a power outlet. Under the boot floor is some storage and the vehicle's spare tyre. On the rear hatch itself is another LED light and the vehicle's warning triangle.
adjustable headrests front and rear. Central locking, window control, speaker, storage. And the front passenger seat in this car does get full power adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, including your four-way power lumbar support. The only thing that this side misses out on is the memory function. Lockable glove box. It is actually quite large. It is LED illuminated as well. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2023 Audi Q8 e-tron 50 Quattro Advanced. Thanks for watching and goodbye.